driverless A technology and it's the first application is on grain car. And so what you're seeing is that there'll be an operator in the combine, but no operator in the grain car, in the tractor of the grain car. And so as you're combining, you can in the combine cue the uh, grain car tractor and the grain car tractor will know where to come. founding club dealers uh, that we have used uh, for this year as we get ready to launch and launch. And so, you know, it's really important that we have the right dealers that understand this level of technology and understand that there's training and service associated with it and that are on this journey with us. And so those are the ones that it's primarily available through this year. There's a lot of other types of crops and types of applications outside of the Corn Belt that we are also really excited about. You know, there's specialty crops and all things like that. And when you think about it, we kind of picked one of the harder use case scenarios. It's not making ground contact, so that's good. But from a dynamic path planning, from all of the variabilities that you see in a harvest application, and uh, it, it really is pretty good to have strong technology. And so we think about things like a vineyard or an orchard where you've got predictable paths. You think about some places in the world that use controlled traffic farming where they're going down the same place time and time again. We think that there'll be plenty of places for that use case to, to grow as we continue to develop this technology.